Hello guys, my name is Kais, or you can call me Wu. This is my first video on this channel, so I'm still a little bit nervous. It's the beginning of the year, and I thought sharing videos now would be the perfect time so I can track my progress throughout the year. I'm excited to share some of the games that I love, and also experience new games with everyone. Today, I want to start with Animal Crossing on the GameCube, because it's one of my favorite games of all time. And it's pretty laid back, so it'll be easy for me to try to get comfortable. If there are any interruptions or like sounds in the back, I'm so sorry. I have a kitten and she's still quite energetic. I'm literally holding her like in my arms right now, so she'll like not mess with the mic or anything. Okay, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy. That opening screen is so iconic. Oh my god, it's KK! My kitten is literally holding my, my thumb. Okay. So you've decided to move out, get your own place, see the world? That's groovy. Who needs someone telling you what to do all the time? Word. You can do what you want, when you want, where you want. Yeah, living on your own, being free, it feels great. But living by yourself can be a real drag too. Still, if you've got some really tight friends somewhere nearby, then you, you know it'll work out. Then you'll know it'll all work out. Yeah, man, friends are far out. Oh, I guess I'm kind of rambling. My bad. So, are you ready to hop on that train and go for a ride? Am I hallucinating? Um, before I go, actually, no, I'm ready to go. I'm ready. I don't even know what I'll be doing. Oh, I almost forgot. You'll enjoy your time in the world of Animal Crossing more if you get some friends to come here too. Yeah, it would be really cool if a lot of your friends came to visit your town. Later. That is so hard to do nowadays. <laughs> Who's that little guy? Joan's sleeping in the back. Hmm, uh, excuse me. Do you have a second? Could you help me out? Is it... Let's see now, 2.04 p.m. on Friday, January 26th, 2024. The time is a little bit off. I'm just going to fix it now. Perfect. You say it's 2.26 on January 26th, 2024? You sure? Yep, I'm very sure. So, would you mind if I sit here? I promise I won't fall asleep, tumble onto you, and start drooling on your shirt. Oh wait, this is where you have to decide your face, right? I'm gonna look at the guide real quick. Okay, this is- Oh wait, I don't even know what face I like the most out of these old ones. Okay. I'm just gonna do- I know which one I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do the one that I always pick. Okay, please. Thanks again, it sure is nice being friendly folk on the train. <laughs> you aren't a psycho, right? Just kidding. Say, by the way, what's your name? Oh, I'm just gonna make it for the sake of simplicity. Hmm, well, hmm, Wu, now that is an odd name. I'm not even gonna try to copy his laugh. He's so cute. Not that my opinion means much. What matters is, do you like the name Wu? Um, isn't it cute? I like the, the girl face for this one. Oh, I'm sorry, I said it sounded funny, honestly. I forgive you. By the way, if you don't mind me asking, where are you headed? Oh, I don't- I didn't even think about this. What should I name my town? I usually name it after some, like, Pokemon town. Um, I actually didn't have anything planned, so I'm just gonna do what I name my New Horizons Islands. And I usually name it Nimbus, like the cloud from Dragon Ball, and I guess the real clouds too. That's right. Hey, I know that place. Nimbus is one of my favorite vacation spots. So what are you going to do? Wait, what are you going to Nimbus for? I'm moving. Hmm, I hate moving. Pack boxes, unpack boxes. Oh yeah, I moved like almost a year ago and I still not fully unpacked. I refuse. Um, I... I have to say, leave me alone. 
Don't, don't tell me. You haven't found a place to live yet? Of course you have. Who? What? You haven't? You can't just show up to no, with no place to live. We better find you a pad and fast. Dang, Rover, looking out for me for no reason. A good friend of mine runs a shop in Nimbus. Let me give him a ring. Wait, right here. His tail is so cute! I'm your biggest fan, Rover. I like seeing the top of his head move. This is so cute. So what's the good word? You're raking in the cash? Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay, that's rough. Brutal. Well, it's a crazy world. Anyways, as I was saying, I have someone here who wants to move to Nimbus. Oh yeah, completely, but the poor thing still hasn't found a place to live. It's sort of a tight spot. The kid's name? Why? Oh, it's Wu. Yeah, today. So you think you can help out? Oh, really? I see. Okay, cool. I'll pass the word on. I'll catch up later. Thanks a lot. See ya, Nick, my man. Bye-bye. He's so silly looking. Miss me? Well, good news for you. It sounds like my buddy has some brand new houses for sale. Dirt cheap. The work's all done, but he hasn't been able to rent them. I wonder why. He wants to unload them, so he's willing to take a loss. You have money, right? Just a little. Wait, that's usually what I say, but yeah, just a little. Oh, really? No wonder you look so helpless. But don't worry. These things have a way of working out. I said money makes the world go round, and what goes around comes around. Wait, I've confused myself. Oh, looks like we're about to pull into Nimbus. Did I mention I love this place? Remember, things are never as bad as they seem. Honestly, good luck, and that's- wait, good luck and all that. Maybe we'll run into each other again sometime. Goodbye. Oh, I'm gonna miss him. Let's go, I see Porter. Nice. Now I'm arriving at Nimbus. Welcome to Nimbus. Watch your step. <gasps> Tom Nook! Oh my god! He's so cute! I love his little ears! Good, good. I just know that- oh, wait. I just now had a phone call about you, hmm? Ooh, I'm glad I made it here in time to meet your train. I'm afraid I'm not in the best shape of my life. But I ramble. My name is Tom Nook. I uh, run the store here in town. I'm quite pleased to meet you, yeah? Yes? <laughs> Something strikes me as odd though, my young friend. Moving to a town before settling on a place to live? Why, is that the craziest thing I've ever heard of? Madness. Absolute madness, hmm? That is actually kind of crazy. Like, where was I gonna sleep? Like, was I just gonna, I don't know, sleep outside? Don't laugh. Pardon me, I beg you. That just struck my funny bone. Now, don't you worry. It may be small, but I have a house you can move into right away. It should be- it should more than suit your needs, hmm? I can show it to you now, so come along. Let's scuttle. Oh my goodness. You got a massive head. Massive cranium in this game. Here we are. Not too shabby. I can most heartily recommend any of these houses. Take your pick. Feel free to take a look inside. I don't mind. Not in the least. Okay. I don't know. I usually take this one... Or this one. Mm, I'm the only one that's going to be living here, so... I think... I'll just take the first one. Take a good look inside, and please bear in mind that it's a little, how you say, cozy. Thank you. Nice. It's a... All stone. Mm-hmm. Well, what do you think? How is it, hmm? I like it. Yeah. Uh, here is good, yep. Mm -hmm. It's decided then. The house now belongs to you, Wu. What a happy day for you, I'm certain. I'll tell you what, I'll even throw in the radio in there at no extra charge. I can never sell a thing. Okay. I suppose you'd like a quick rundown of your house, so listen carefully, please. As you can no doubt see, the house doesn't have any furniture in it at all. Yes, it's quite bare, I'm afraid. Anything you need, you'll have to get on your own. Obviously, you can't expect me to furnish the place for you. You can do whatever you'd like with your own stuff. But don't try to mess around with other folks' things. 
Well, not that you can. <laughs> Nobody will know if you just nudge stuff, though. You probably want to pop into neighbors' houses and get some ideas for your own interior designs. I would. Oh, yeah. That weird thing over by the door there? That would be your personal gyroid assistant. If visitors stop by when you're not around, this gyroid will meet, meet and greet them. Hmm? It truly is a must-have. You can teach it messages, and then the little fellow will repeat them to visitors. That's just one of its talents. You can also leave items with it, which can be given or even sell to folks. And one more thing. When you're done playing, be absolutely sure to speak to your gyroid. For that is the only way for you to save everything you did that day. It would be a shame to lose such things. If you quit playing without talking to it first, it'll be like everything you did that day never happened. I wonder if you ever said he's in this game, right? It's been a long time. I usually always save the game, so I don't remember. I can't imagine a worse fate. Please take extra care. And that marks the end of my explanation. I'm hoping that I didn't forget anything. Yup, I got it. I got it. <laughs> no thanks. Now then, let's see. With fees and closing costs, the house comes to... 19,800 bells. <laughs> It is so embarrassing giving this little sack of a thousand bells. My leg is falling asleep and my kitten is laying on it. I've got to get up. Yes, that would be not nearly enough. I'll put her in her little bed. I dropped the controller. Go to bed, my two. Okay, she's laying down. Thank God. You only have a thousand bells. You're joking with me, right? Why, you're so short, I can't help but laugh. That is messed up. It is now my fault, I'm broke. You know what happens to people who don't have the money, don't you? I'll tell you, they can't buy a house. But you still need a place to stay, don't you? A thorny situation. Oh, he's gonna put me to work. Okay, that's a fine. <laughs> An acre A2. You cannot miss it. Oh yeah, the map system is so weird. I'm heading back there now, so I'll be waiting for you. Okay, I'll hurry, I'll hurry. My foot fell asleep so bad because I was holding my cat. Oh my god. Oh, that is so close. Okay, I want to check the map real quick. The shop, post office, and the dump. Oh, it'll be so easy to find everything. The tailor is the only one that's like you kind of have to think about. Is it always by the beach? I think so. Ricky, Dizzy, Bunny, Cody, Monique, and Mitzi. These are really cute villagers too. Let's go. Finally arrived. That took you so long. I just looked at the map. Oh my god. Oh. He actually looked so mad. Okay, word. Thank you. If you must know, I suppose I'd call it your uniform. Please let me know when you're done changing, yep. Yeah? Yes, sir. I'm fly. Oh, actually, I look so plain. Wow. Okay. Got it. About to make it so beautiful. Not charming at all. That is so true. Okay, I got it. Tom Nook actually knows what he's doing, though. That's so funny. He becomes so successful later on. I'm just gonna plant them willy nilly. These are mostly yellow. Oh, never mind. The colors change. Oh my god, I mean, the flowers change so much throughout the games. There we go. Plant a tree right here. One right here. Oh, I have peaches! I didn't realize. Yeah, I have peaches. There we go. Easy peasy. I'm done. Yep. Beauty's in the eye of the beholder, so I won't bother asking how you chose to where to plant everything. Good, because I won't tell you. 
Oh, okay. That little tro is worth about 80 bells. Heard. Okay. What should I have to you do next? Just a moment. Something just struck me. You just moved to Nimbus. But you haven't introduced yourself to all the townsfolk, have you? Nope, because you dragged me right out of the train station. Why don't you introduce yourself to everyone in town? Go on now. Okay. Sounds good to me. And even the mayor, too. I realize I never turned up the game. Hold on. Actually, I'll leave it quiet for now. That would show some class. Okay. Finding wandering around the wishing well. See you later. Bye bye. Okay, so where to start? Oh, I don't have a map. I do not have a map. Okay, he won't give it to me yet though, so. I'm gonna start with Ricky and Dizzy. Isn't Ricky the squirrel and Dizzy an elephant? Hopefully they're. Yep. Oh my god, I have him in my new leaf town. This is so crazy. I don't think so in that case. What are you doing? Your name's Wu? Hey, calm down. No, you don't need to be scared. I am not scared of you. You are so small. I'm Ricky. Nice to meet you. Oh, Ricky. Dizzy. Oh, he's so cute. Hello. Hello, you're not from around here, are you? Woohoo. Wait, woohoo. What? My cat just shook my whole desk. Hi, Alice. Okay. It's nice to meet you. By the way, my name is Dizzy. If you ever see me wandering around here, don't be bashful. Just come up and say hi, okay? Okay, I'm kind of going to try to guesstimate where everything else is. Okay. There should be the museum and the police station down this way. The acres throw me off so bad. I don't think I have to talk to Blathers yet. Okay, literally no one else lives on this side, okay? But I can talk to the mayor, though. Oh. oh, the golden spot. It's so hard to see during the winter time. Okay. Let's see, Able Sisters was on the other side, actually. I gotta go to the fountain. Hello, old man. Who are you? You whippersnapper, tell me something. Who do you respect the most? Should I try to butter up this guy? Definitely my grandpa, for no reason. You may look young, but you have a keen eye. What's your name? Ooh, well that's different. Your parents must be proud. Uh, Tortimer! Okay. I'll go see you. Ooh. Got the yawning again. Ooh. Let's see. Someone's house has got to be around here somewhere. I already forgot. Okay. Here we go. Mitzi! Hello? You don't look familiar by any chance. Do I know you, Mew? I can't remember. You have to tell me. What's your name? I've never met you before in my life. Aww. Aww, Mitzi! I shouldn't jump to conclusions like that, but still, I'm glad we've met now. Stop by again. She's so sweet. Okay. Now there's got. I heard someone else's door. I must be north of this cliff thing. Here we go. I heard two doors. <laughs> He's so itty bitty! Hello! Okie dokie. I'm Cody. What about you? What's your name? Gotcha. Woo, huh? Let's be pals. Oh, there's not a lot of like grumpy people. Everyone's pretty nice so far. There has to be someone else around here. Am I, am I losing it? I thought there was someone nearby. Oh, here's another one. Oh! Oh, Monique and Mitzi live really close to each other. That's pretty cute. It's not every day I see a new face around here. Oh, you're Wu, are you? I'm Monique. No, the pleasure is all mine, really. Oh, she's so cute, too. Okay, that means Tom Nooks has to be around the north of here somewhere. Okay. And then I'm gonna double check my map. Oh, this is where my house is. 
I know I shouldn't be running a lot, but I'm not super attached to the grass. Oh, I have to meet Bunny. She's north of Cody's house. I knew I forgot somebody. Was there a bridge this way or is it just the pier thing? Here we go. Oh my gosh, she's so cute in the GameCube version. What do you want from me? I know you've been watching me. Still, I haven't made any new friends lately, so I guess we can hang out. My name's Bunny, what's your name? Oh, woo, I'll, I'll be sh sure to remember that. Nice to meet ya. <laughs> oh my gosh, she's so cute in the GameCube. Okay, that should be everybody. Hopefully I don't have to meet Blathers. I don't think I do. It's been a while. Okay, it's where my house is, so maybe a little bit to the left and up. A couple times. There it is. Yeah, we did it. Hello. Yep, I met everybody. Okay, that's awesome. If you don't get along well with the folks here in Nimbus, you'll never fit in. You understand? Okay. But never fear, I have a good feeling about you. Now then, what shall I have you do next? Ah oh, yes, I need you to deliver some furniture. Hmm? At last, it's like you're actually working in the shop. Take this furniture to Mitzi and Acre E1, okay? That is so far away. And don't stop to sniff the roses on the way. Let's go straight there and come right back. Okay. Not like there's any roses in this town anyways. Okay. Walk in. I think I have the way to her house memorized. Hopefully. Oh, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm getting ready to deliver. It has to be really close to here. Oh, I hear someone. There she is. Hello. What did you want? Delivery. Oh, goodness. I didn't think you'd be the one to deliver this. That's the story. What's the story with that? Oh, I see. You have to work off your mortgage. That must be pretty tough. Both you trying to get settled. But that's life, keep plugging. Oh, I know, you can have my lily pad table. It's yours. Just consider it a little housewarming gift. Thank you. Of course, as you collect more and more cool furniture, you may want to get rid of some stuff. When you arrange a piece of furniture in your house, you can hold the A button to push, pull, or spin it around. It's so much fun to decorate a room. I never tire of it. Your room will be looking fine in no time. Oh, maybe you know this, but you can face a piece of furniture and press a but the A button to interact with it. That's how you can do stuff like turning on your radio, opening a dresser drawers, and playing instruments. Oh, she's so helpful and then she just runs off. <laughs> this song is so cute. Okay. Should be almost there. When I see the little flowers, I know the shop is right there. Hello. Welcome back. You did a good job, so I figured that earns you about 230 bills. Not bad. Now, on your next task. Hmm, what's that? You say it's too difficult to try to find things without a map? Honestly, kids these days and their constant complaints. Nothing changed since like this game came out. Oh my god. Why? When I was just a little raccoon. Oh, I, never mind. Okay, okay, here's a map. Press X to look at the look at it. It should serve your needs just fine. Oh no. Why don't I just give it to Dizzy? This is good business. Dizzy is a very loyal customer, so this is a notice of our special sale. As for what to write, I'll just leave it up to you, Woo. I'm trying to make it exciting. I gotta make it a spam. Thank you. I'm gonna give him the most spam letter possible. Okay. Now hurry back. To Dizzy.
I'm gonna go to the post office now. Wait, I should have a map now. Awesome. Let's get into it. Is it Pelly? I'm bad with names. Mail a letter. Here we go. Awesome. I see. Would you like to mail more letters? Nah. The thing I love about this game is as soon as you fill up the back, like all of the letters will mail automatically. Which is pretty cool. You get to see Pete flying away. We'll probably get to do it a few times. At least. I love writing letters to people. Hello, Nook. Did you send the letter? Good job. It took you longer than I would like, but you ought to dock you a bit. How does 130 bell sound? I had to write like a sale thing for you. Okay, thank you. Oh. Um, I'm a bit behind. It would be a waste for you to just hang around here and wait for me. Why don't you help the villagers? Okay. Sounds good to me. I wonder if Monique needs anything. Or Bunny. They're pretty cute. I don't know if there's like a pattern on who needs help in, in these games. Like for this part. It's not like I'm speedrunning though, so I don't know if I really care. There you are. Really do talk too much, you know. Let's get right to the point. What do you want? Do you need a favor? Oh, awesome. Have you met Cody? <laughs> On the stinky side. I lent the poor deer my glasses case a while ago. I still want the foggiest idea when I might get it back. Yes, I'll go grab it. Gotta shake down this little guy. I think one thing about this game is that when you do these little side quests for these uh, villagers, it increases their friendship, but sometimes you get put on like a wild goose chase. What? Oh, that's Ricky. Oh, Cody was literally so close. Okay. Yeah, sometimes it'll be like, oh, I let this person borrow this thing that I borrowed from another person. And then you get like three or four people in and then you finally get the item. And then you need to go to the first person. And then you can update everybody else, I'm pretty sure, about like how it went. It's so silly. Hello. I'm picking up. Yeah, I borrowed it. But Bunny, yup, there it is. And snaked it. I know I should have kept it. I was out of line, I'm sorry. Okay. Hopefully Bunny's the last person. Hello again. I'm picking up. Okay, I'm taking it back to Minnie, don't worry. Oh my god. Let's get a move on. I will, I will, damn. It's not my fault you stole. Hey, girly. Look what I got. Delivery. Wow, I'm stunned. Yeah, I found it. I'm so grateful to you. That's so sweet. Oh yay! I wonder if anybody else needs help. Thank you. I wonder if Mitzi needs help. Mitzi! Why are you running so fast? Hello. I want a job. Cody has another item. Why? He actually never returns anything. Okay, this is the second time in a row. I'll do it, I'll do it. So, note to self. Do not let Cody borrow anything. Let's see. Hello. I'm picking up again. Oh my god, no! Monique. This is why you don't return anything, because let other people take the stuff that you borrowed. Hi, girly. Can I have it back? 
I pick it up. Oh, I would make a good cover story. Run along now. Okay, I will. I'm running. Let's see. There you are. Good afternoon. Yes, here's the reason. Wow, you actually got my handkerchief back. I'm so glad I asked you to do this for me. Please take these clothes as, clothes as a symbol of my gratitude. Thank you. I wonder what kind of clothes they are. Oh, I like the MVP shirt. I'm gonna wait till after I finish my job, though. I don't like disappointing him whenever I change my clothes. Okay, everyone around here has been part of a little help fetch quest. So let me see. I'm gonna ask Dizzy and Ricky. Hopefully they don't need anything and I can just go back to Tom Nook. Where are these little guys? I am lost. Okay, Dizzy should be around here. Dizzy, where are you? Maybe he's in his house? Oh yeah, if they're in the same acre, you can visit their house without them being inside. He's gotta be around here somewhere. There you are. I like the big drum sound. Oh my god, Monique! Yeah, I, I guess I'll go get it. Okay. I got you, buddy. No worries. He's gonna go all the way over here. I'm running. I got. I gotta get this done. I'm going. Hey, girly. I'm here to collect once again. Give it to me. No. Oh my God! You three. These three cause nothing but trouble for me. I'll pick it up. Okay. I won't forget. I don't even know. I don't think Dizzy even knew that you had this bunny. I'm being so for real. Okay, I run. Here we go. Hello. I got it back. Delivery time. Yep, that's definitely my handkerchief. You're welcome. Let's go furniture. It's better than clothes. Oh, he's so cute. His little smile. The metronome. I wonder who would like a metronome. Oh, you playing with the ball? Yeah, show him what you got. Show him what you got. I'm going to go and see Tom Nook again. Hopefully there's not much else to do. It's 3 o'clock already. Yeah. They're fairly generous. Okay, thank you. Nice carpet. Don't dilly-dally along. Take this carpet to Ricky. I just saw that guy. Okay, got it. Try not to gab too much. Tell me when you're done. I'll hurry back, I promise. I'm going! I'm going! Okay, 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 okay. Where is Ricky? There you are. Oh! Again, how wonderful for me in that case. Yeah, so what do you want? I have a delivery for you! Oh, dude, I just started working today, man. Oh, heard. Carpeting is so essential, and if you don't know what the kinds are available, it's tough to plan out your design. Well, I guess I can help you a bit. I don't need this old rug anymore, so why don't you take it? Thank you. I hunger for a decent mall sometimes. I felt that. I like getting the stuff I want. I do suppose that Thomas is doing the best he can. He does get new items every day. 
Of course, that just means I have to shop, stop by a shop every darn day to see what he's got. That irks me. Otherwise, if I miss out on a cool item, I, ne I may never get to see it again. That irks me even more! Yeah, what a pain. Hopefully we can upgrade the store quickly. I just have to spend a lot of money. If I buy flowers every day, that helps a little bit at least. Welcome back. It looks like you're finally getting the hang of things around here. The way you work, I'd be happy to have you working here full time. Wouldn't that be a treat? In any case, I can see you putting in a lot of effort. Let's go. 580. Oh, the axe for Dizzy. Mm hmm. Okay, thank you. To get my own axe. Okay. I'll let you know when I'm done. Okay, okay. Thank god, these are so close. Here we go. What in the world? There we go. I heard a footstep somewhere. Delivery! Oh, hey, delivery person. Thanks a bundle. Sorry I can't tip you my wallet to my other, uh, frock. Do you casually change the subject? Did you send me this letter? <laughs> sale, sale, sale. Awesome. Very cool. Everyone invited. Maximum fun. Everyone loves Nook. Oh, God. That's what I figured. That was super mellow of you. Getting any kind of letters is way cool. I've misplaced my fair share of stuff over the years, but I hang on to every letter I get. Not only that, but I show them off to my friends too. They're easily impressed. You never know. I may move out of Gold Old Nimbus someday and I'll bring my letters with me. I might even show them to my new pals after I move. Oh god. I'll keep writing, but hopefully you never leave this place. Okay, I will. Bye-bye. Has anyone, like, in the past ever, like, written, like, love letters to villagers? Like... I like, like the cute little letters. I think it's so embarrassing if someone like sh like they get shown to someone like that visits your town, especially in like later games, because it's more common. Oh my goodness gracious! The bulletin board. Okay. Sounds exciting. Don't write anything that might embarrass me. Okay. I can never erase it. That's awesome to know. It's so stressful. Here we go. And press the A button to start writing a message. Um, I don't have anything to say. Hold on. So I'm just gonna uh Now me having to mash the R button. Okay. And that is all I have to say. Oh, I could be like day one. Wow, a buzz generating ad up there? Yep, of course I did. That means I'm all done. All the work I've gone around is now, around to is now all done. Since I don't have any more work for you to do, I'm afraid I have no choice but to let you go. The rest of your mortgage, you'll still have to pay all of that off. That's how life works. 1,400 bells. That's not bad. Okay, thank you. Running errands for the villagers. Okay. I'm gonna collect a couple of peaches to buy the shovel and the flowers. Oh my god, if you can pay off about a thousand bells a week, that'll work for me. Otherwise, I'll send for the raccoon goons. Just a joke, once you pay it all off, we can talk about remodeling the place for you. The house you've got now is pretty small after all. I'm sure you'd like a little bit more room. Well, thanks for your help. I hope you can come see me with, for all your future shopping needs. Let's go! Yes! I'm finally done working. I'm free! Oh my god, I could change my shirt. 
Let's go. And we can decorate with some of the new furniture we just got. Here. Let's see if I like any of it. Here we go. A lily pad table, a watermelon chair, and a metronome. Wait. Drop. It's better than nothing. I like the watermelon furniture. Why'd that move so weird? That's also better than before, but I do not like cowhide like that. I do like this fork uniform, so I'm just gonna put it in a corner. It's a little nostalgic for me. Okay, and that should be enough to get us started. I left the light on, it looks pretty cute. I'm gonna sell everything else in my pockets for now. Oh, and these peaches right here. Hopefully this will lead up to 100, I oh know, 500 bells maybe? I don't remember how much tools cost in this game. Why is he staring at me? I'm just gonna ignore him. Okay. Welcome, do come in. Thank you. What can I do for you? I'd like to sell. I'm not really interested in the metronome. A thousand and two bells. Beautiful. Nope. Thank you. I wonder where the two bells came from. I need the shovel. That's half of my bells. I'll buy it though. Thank you. Okay. I press the A button whenever you feel like digging a hole. Okay, heard. Thank you. A bit unusual is a very interesting description. I'll buy these. And I'll buy some of these. Okay. I want to start decorating a little bit at least. Okay, do come again. Thank you. But yeah, there's no easy way to change your tool in this game, right? Just gotta do it the old fashioned way. A little guy, a mini tympanoid. I don't know if I should collect gyroids in this game, because I don't really have a place to put them, unlike newer games where you have like a big storage area. Here we go. I'm decorating right here, because KK is right there, usually, whenever it comes to town. Okay, I also want to check the dump. Gotta shake that tree. Thank you. Here we go. Perfect. Anything? Nope, absolutely nothing actually. Where is some more money? Ricky's playing with the ball. He's so cute. I want to see him. Where did you, where did he go? Where'd the ball go? Did he knock it in the water? He must have knocked it in the water and ran inside. That's stinker. That's mean. A fossil. I dug up a fossil. Oh, I did not mean to do that. I also have to remember that there's money rocks in this game too. Here, let me earn a little bit more money. And then I should be able to hop off for today. We can start again soon. Hopefully tomorrow. I do. I work a really long shift tomorrow, so maybe not. But if not that, sunny night. Feel free to look and browse. I'd like to sell. Here we go. The gyroids do give you a good bit of money. Sell all. 1,429. 28. There we go. Anything else you wish to sell? Nope. Thank you. Oh, I should have bought that blue bench. I, mm, I'll go buy it. Thank you. Here we go. That's a blue bench. The price is oh, I cannot afford that. Um, I'm just gonna go buy some paper. Nope, that's not what I wanted. Hold on. 
Okay, I'm a little bit off center. Let me fix this. Oh, it's a rainy day paper. I'm gonna buy two packs then. This paper is very cute. Thank you. Do come again. I look forward to seeing you. Okay. And then I can go. I'm, I was getting there. I was getting there. Let's see if I can try to donate this to the museum. The little river is around it, or the little pond around it. It's very cute. I also want to stop by the police station to see if there's anything cool. Hello, sleepy guy. What time is it? I'm so very sleepy. A thousand pardons. I'm terribly sorry. I always do generally stay up at night. I'll give you this fossil. Indeed, an unexamined fossil. My heart is set a Twitter with the very thought. I am a fervent student of paleontology, and I am fairly confident I can assess the identity. Of, I can assess the identity of the specimen. However, I must confess I have yet to receive my certification, so I cannot offer the, an official examination. Oh, poor Blathers. He definitely knows what he's talking about, though. Not the faraway museum. Not yet. Sometime tomorrow. We got it. That would be very nice. Thank you. Are you waiting for initial correspondence from the faraway museum? You must not rebury fossils in the earth. This is very important. Will they just despawn? I don't know. Okay. Anything else you'd like to show me? Nope. There's literally nothing else in this town right now. Large, expensive, and thoroughly empty box. However, we are open around the clock to gladly accept donations from the residents of Nimbus at all times. He works 24-7. Literally 24-7. Okay. Oh yeah, there's something right here. Another fossil. Hopefully I get that letter soon. I think I can force it by sending a bunch of letters to villagers, but I don't want to do that right now. Good day to you. Um, any goings on? Oh, something from Sahara, the carpet trader. The 28th. So, what is it? In two days, Sahara will be here. And then, anything lost? Three. I'll go check it out. Hello! Every item here is lost. I mean, I don't know who owns the items. Let's look. An Emmy figurine? I'll take it. I guess it's free money. And then... Cafe shirt. I'll take that as well. Yep, it's definitely all mine. Yep, it's 100% mine. A mini... A mint gingham. Gingham's really cute. Thank you. Um, those were definitely all mine. Thank you for stopping by. Oh, no worries. I'm... I'm glad I stopped by. That one's pretty cool. It looks very fancy. Mint Kingdom. That goes with my hair and eye color. Let's see. And then, does... Oh. Does Abel's sister sell clothes in this game, or is it just the pattern stuff? Snowball. I don't know why I did that. Oh, it's just the pattern stuff. Hello! Under- oh, okay, see. 
I like this blue pattern a lot. Avant garde. I want it. Sure. Right here is fine. Thank you. The ducky one is so cute. Thanks again. Hopefully I'll stop by soon. Okay. I would love to make a snowman right now, but I think I should head out for the day. Let's get home. I'm running back to my house. I'm going. I'm almost there. Here we go. Welcome home. Maybe with assistance, I would like to save my game. That's right. Enter the house. Alrighty, this will be it for today for the first episode of my Animal Crossing GameCube Let's Play. Um, I was really, really excited to start this because I don't see a lot of people playing this game anymore. And I just really wanted to have my own rendition of a, a playthrough of it. If I sounded a little weird, and I might sound weird for a little bit, I have tonsillitis right now. My tonsils are really inflamed. I'm considering getting them removed, but um, I really hope it resolves quickly and I feel better. And I really hope I'll see you guys again soon. Okay. Thank you so much. I'll get a lot more done next time, hopefully. Thank you for watching. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Time to save the game.